Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to migrate SQL Server agent jobs from SQL Server 2008 R2 to SQL Server 2014. In this demo, we'll be learning how to script out all the jobs on SQL Server 2008 R2. And also, we'll be going through the limitations when we script out all the jobs on SQL Server 2008 R2 and transfer to target server. What are the limitations? And finally, we'll be running our output script, the script that we created on our source and taking it to target. In this case, the target would be SQL Server 2014. So here is my SQL Server. This server has my SQL Server instance 2008 R2 right here. In order to go to jobs, you need to uh, expand SQL Server agent right here and click on jobs. Keep in mind that you can also expand right here the, when you click on plus sign and all the jobs will appear right here but on the right side it says object explorer detail if you don't get that let me go ahead and close that if you have the view just like this you can click on view and click on object explorer detail or you can press f7 and it'll appear the reason this is important if you wanted to select multiple jobs you can only do it in object explorer detail if you right here let me go ahead and press control and hold and I'm trying to select multiple jobs in left pane right here in object explorer and I'm not able to do that however if I go in object explorer detail and I pre press control and hold I'm able to select multiple jobs so in order to select all the jobs and script out you can go ahead and select all the jobs and script script them out but before you do that I wanted to mention a couple things if you have a replication set up and all the replication jobs are on your target on your source server and you are basically taking this replication to your target server then uh, you don't need to take these jobs you don't need to script replication related jobs once you run the replication script on your target server which is SQL Server 2014 these jobs will be created automatically so you don't need to take replication related jobs you don't need to take um, the mirror related jobs so all only jobs that you basically need to take is user defined jobs in my case I have right here the backup all databases plan and right here the DB info so these two jobs I have selected right here I'm going to take these two jobs uh, basically to my target server which is SQL Server 2014 so let's go ahead and script these out keep in mind that I have shown you that if you wanted to select all the jobs right click and script it'll script out all your jobs but in my case I don't need to take the replication related jobs so I'm going to go ahead and press control key on my keyboard and hold it and select multiple jobs or specific jobs in this case to script out these are two maintenance jobs that I have uh, in this server so I'm going to go ahead and script those out <clears throat> this will go ahead and script out those two jobs for me but uh, the limitations um, I want I uh, was talking a little bit ago that what are the limitations when you script out any jobs that has maintenance plan related to that job this maintenance plan does not get shipped with the script so if you take this script it is looking for the maintenance plan on your target server if that maintenance plan is not there this job is going to fail for you so you have to transfer your maintenance plans as well in my case if I go in management and go in my maintenance plans I do have a maintenance plan backup all sys DB and when I create maintenance plans it creates jobs job on SQL Server agent automatically so my advice to you is that if you have a maintenance plan job on your SQL Server agent basically you don't need to basically take that job either because you you can go ahead and look at your maintenance plan and create the same maintenance plan on your target server and it'll create a job for you um, it, it'll uh, take right amount of time you can in SQL Server transfer uh, maintenance plans from one server to another but it's a 
really time consuming job if I would be at your place I basically will take a look at my maintenance plan and create the same maintenance plan on my target server so in my case right here if you look at the script that it did script the maintenance plan right here it's looking for the maintenance plan if you take a look right here and if it wouldn't find maintenance plan it's going to fail for you so there is no need to basically take this job as well so the only job basically I need to take is DB info right here so I can go ahead and script just copy this script which is DB info let me make sure that uh, I have selected everything I'm going to go ahead and where it says object DB info I'm going to go ahead and script copy that script from there and take it to my target server which is my SQL server 2014 here's my SQL server 2014 I'm going to go ahead and connect with SQL server 2014 even though the instance name is SQL 2012 don't uh, let it fool you it's a uh, SQL Server 2014 basically and let me just go ahead and quickly show you as you can see that is Microsoft SQL Server 2014 so let's go ahead and run this script that we just copied as you can see the script is executed successfully so let's go ahead and look in the jobs whether we have our DB info job right here and let's go ahead and go in the properties and look at the steps and our step is right here so this DB info job is on SQL Server 2014 so basically this is how you transfer your jobs from SQL Server 2008 R2 to SQL Server 2014 this is much easier way you can there are other ways to transfer jobs from SQL Server 2008 R2 to SQL Server 2014 but this is much easier way and I hope this demo helps